Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus is speaking in Matthew chapter 6, verse 3, But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret. And thy Father, who seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. God knows everything that we do, and he also knows what we are thinking as we are doing it. If we do good because it is good, if we do good because we know it is pleasing to God, if we do good because we know it makes God happy, He knows and He is pleased. In fact, long after we forget about that good deed, God will still remember it and He will reward us for it in eternity. You know, sometimes I think we think about the judgment seat of Christ as Christians, where our life will be judged after we became Christians and will be either rewarded for good things that we do or lose rewards for bad things that we do and so on and so forth. And maybe maybe some of us tend to dwell on the negative part of that a little bit too much. And forget the fact that God never forgets anything that we do. And so, you know, you get saved and shortly after you get saved, you do something unselfish for someone. I mean, and you do something that maybe costs you something for someone. And you do it because you know it pleases Jesus, your Savior. And you do it because you want to honor him. And 10 years goes by, 15, 20 years go go by, and you forget all about that work that you did. But God did not. He's got a perfect memory. He remembers all the good things that we have done for the glory of God. All those times we lived and did things that were pleasing to our Savior. He remembers all those long after we have forgotten long after we have gotten busy doing whatever it is we have to do in this life, God has it all fresh in his memory. And come judgment day, he's going to reward us for those things. And I don't need a reward. Just a, just a friendly nod from God would be plenty for me. But, you know, I think he's going to bring to our memory a lot of things that we've done that we had long ago forgotten that we did. God never forgets anything good that we do. Verse 5, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. You know, some people pray to be heard by others. Some people pray to have attention drawn to others or to themselves. They're not really even talking to God in their prayers. They're talking to people. They're talking to their audience. And God will not answer a prayer that is prayed to draw attention to self. Anyone who tries to be eloquent in prayer in order to impress those who hear is wasting their time praying. Obviously, they're not talking to God. Obviously, they're not speaking to be heard by God. They're speaking to be heard by man. That's not directed to God. And just like God knows everything about everything else, he knows who you're talking to when you pray. He knows if you're talking to him or trying to impress others. He's not going to answer a prayer like that because you weren't even talking to him. Again, we see It's not just what we do, it's why we do it. That's important to God. For more of God's Word, go to thebibleversebyverse.com.